everybody thank you for tuning in in today's video we got a special one um we have let's see first of all it is friday august 12th at 7 12 a.m we are here in the city of 29 palms uh we are getting some fuel because we're getting some fuel because we're going a total of 120 miles away from the yard in the middle of nowhere i'm still 60 miles away from that uh, destination and this is the last fuel stop that we have at our availability um, I fueled up the rotator completely when we left the yard and we're already at half a tank and who knows how long we'll be out there because we're gonna be dealing with a 90,000 pound long-reach excavator on its side in a leaching pond this is gonna be a good one um, I'll have Sophie my editor overlay some pictures of what we're gonna be dealing with um, like I said it is a 90,000 pound excavator so myself in the rotator and my dad in his pickup with our recovery support trailer and then i have statewide towing james one of the owners of statewide towing with his 75 ton they're already out there um on scene with it and yeah they're gonna start getting things ready i would have been out there with them uh we were planning on leaving the yard at 4 a.m this morning but literally as soon as i got to the yard one of our good accounts who uh does cement had a cement mixer that was about to roll over. So I had to attend to that first. And then uh, once I got that squared away, we're on our way. So with that being said, um, like I said, we're getting some fuel and we're gonna go ahead and head to Amboy, get this uh, excavator back on its feet. So thanks for tuning in guys. This is gonna be a really, really good one. It's probably gonna be a challenge. It's gonna be a nasty, muddy mess, but we'll get it done. So looks like our fuel is done. Let's go ahead and head to Amboy. Yikes, 30 gallons, 169 bucks, 559. Alright, let's do it. Alrighty, we just came in uh, off of Amboy Road. Now we're uh, going down a Hall Road following this gentleman here and he's gonna take us back who knows how far. According to my dad, he said we'd never find, I'd never find him. So let's uh, see how far back we go and find this excavator. everybody we're on scene with this excavator that's on its side um, let's go ahead and talk you through our, kind of our initial thoughts so it is a long reach excavator so it's similar in size to this it's got this giant arm and you can kind of see that right there but then the knuckle down the I guess that part is sunk in the mud so the other long reach is working on clearing that up so we can clear that suction because this stuff is like nasty muck um, so that's issue number one issue number two we really wanted to get a truck basically right where that those um, excavator is so that way we could put some lift on that arm because the farther out you're lifting out there you're putting a lot of leverage and it's going to roll it that's that's key but unfortunately we uh, basically noticed that this whole bank is filled. They uh, they filled this in. So as you can see, they got this bank that runs along here and across. So all of this is filled in and not compacted. This excavator was on this bank, kind of clearing some of that muck out and sunk down like four feet, um, similar in weight and size to our trucks with less ground pressure than our trucks. So that was a, a deciding factor to put both the trucks up here. So as you guys see, we got statewide here, like I mentioned, James is the operator. Um, they got their 75 ton rotator. They're gonna set it up kind of right in that general area. And they're gonna reach out and put a low line on the track and a high line on the, the uh, arm to try to you know, get some leverage going, get some pull on that arm. And then the rotator will be set up just next to it and we'll basically do the same thing with a low line pulling down there and then a high line around the counterweight to uh, try to get this thing upright. 
so it's kind of one of those things that you just don't know until you try so we're gonna go ahead and try <laughs> so um with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and switch to the helmet camera we'll get this thing rigged up and we'll see how it's gonna work so let's go ahead and get to work thanks for tuning in guys all right we're gonna start hooking trucks up to it and uh see what happens so james already has the 75 ton in place i'm gonna get myself in place we're gonna work off the back of the trucks because obviously that's the strongest and our thought is you know if if it comes down to it, this thing's just going to come out on its side. It's going to come out one way or another. We have enough heavy equipment and dead mans and winching power to come out, make it come out. So that's our thought. I'm going to go ahead and lock my power dividers in here. ground is so soft that the steer tires don't really want to steer so I can't go super hard otherwise it just plows all right guys this is the spot we're obviously dealing with some very soft ground conditions as I said the steer tire doesn't work very well if it's plowing so we have to do very small and minor steering corrections and this is the best it's gonna get so we're kind of lined up with the back end counterweight of the dozer and uh james over there is lined up with the uh the stick in the front track so let's go ahead and uh, get rigged up here I wasn't intending. I wasn't intending on it. I was gonna go. I was gonna go spades and then maybe the front outriggers out and touching just to have stability if something happens. I'm looking at it and I might just have to bury my spades. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Try to kick my boom this way, I guess. You know. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't want to be pulling my legs off. Right, right, right. That's my concern. Close, man. Yeah, yeah, it is. to um, put James with a high pick on the uh, front of the boom and we will put a uh, low pick off the back of your truck towards the front of the track and Trent we will have you with a low pull on the back side of the track and we will uh, go over the top of the uh, counterweight, counterweight yeah. there um, and pull down um, we'll have headsets on to communicate you guys will be the operators I'll be the eyes um, our main concern will be to make sure that we break suction as long as suction, it should come over fairly easy. Yeah. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. The only thing we got working against us is that, that uh, arm, the knuckle is at a 90 degree. So it's either going to do one of two things. It's going to work against us and fight us as it's coming up, or it's just going to push itself down on the ground, which would be actually even better because then it'll give us a lever to <laughs> kind of help bring it over. As far as catch, I don't, we don't need to worry about the catch. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come over and land in the soft sand. Um, you know, we'll just keep our eyes and ears open. Uh, if I see something I don't like, obviously, you know, anyone sees anyone, anything they don't like, we all stop and we all stop. Um, again, I'll be the eyes. Um, you guys feel something on your trucks that doesn't feel right, need to stop. We all stop. Any questions? Sound like it's good to me. Yeah, when you get it up, then you want to rock it this way a little bit, and then I can get something underneath that further, underneath where, where it's laying. I can put some material there. Yeah, what, before you what, guys actually release. Yeah, once well, once we That'd get it up, great. we'll see how it sits. Yeah, um, sure. it might just sit this fine. Okay, um, we may have to. Uh, we'll have to let some tension off to see if it's gonna uh, stay stationary. Stay. Otherwise, you okay. may have to bring some uh, material in. Um, we may, um, depending what happens when we start the initial pull, we may need that excavator to come over on this side and continue to dig out. Okay. You know, if we if, if we're not breaking that suction, sure. hoping that this will pop out. Especially if it's drying now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so let's get okay. it rigged up and uh, see what happens when we start pulling. Okay, perfect. 
you. I'll be back in an hour when you guys got it rigged. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rigging wise, you want to focus on like one truck at a time and just make it happen, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, that. Yeah. That, the cables are massive. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Both, in. both of us are going to do fronts and just touching. That way we have stability if something goes wrong or whatever. But the backs will just be planted. I usually plant them down pretty good like that, and then I'll take them back up and then let the truck kind of pull back a little bit and let it anchor. And you still got this yeah, side this isn't side even is down. Coming down at the same. It's not gonna be. No, it's it. You're just taking up this side. I might just have to be on an angle, you know. Yeah. I was at a five percent, so it brought that side up. Huh? Right. Yeah. You can always level yourself out too with the back, the front outrigger, just slightly. <laughs> Stuff, yeah. Like I see the people pull a pipeline, I would pull oh, that yeah. for any dollar you gave me. <laughs> Put this one to the top, you're thinking? Yeah, yeah, go to the top and then um, I just I just saw that you may want to run um, the chain to the D ring and over the track. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. The, the pull rings there and up over the I think track. that's the way to go right there. We could and even go to the we could even go to the low ring and over the, get a little more leverage out of it. That's definitely the way right there. Probably an uh, inch and a half levis on that front uh, lift point on the. Yeah. And uh, short chain it or even. Master link or something, yeah. yeah. What do you think? Uh, is it muck that way or should we. Yeah, I, go, I keep going the way you're going and we'll walk and then it just around. Boom, we, can boom, we can boom it over, oh, probably. Cool yeah. <laughs> yeah. Top. What's that? Oh, yeah, to that front? Yeah. Um, here, I'll. Here, I'll feed you some cable. Oh, oh my God. Can you yeah. flop that down here? Whew. Is it? Yeah. There we go. Is that enough? <laughs> Is it? Wonderful. I even told myself to grab rubber boots this morning and then <laughs> I got that mixer thing and I was rushing out of the yard, forgot them. If you wanna flop it down here, I'll rig it up and try something else. Cool. Yeah, I put one foot down, I was like, shit. <laughs> oh, man. You guys have a location out in uh, off 62, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I've I pulled uh, a West Coast gravel truck, those blue trucks. You oh, guys did you? you guys pull, deal with those, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I pulled one of those out a few years ago. I was green, too. I was like, just got that truck. And I was dealing with this shit, wasn't prepared at all. That was when I was in college. Had to, I had a midterm exam the next morning, got home at like 3 in the morning, had to drive to Fullerton. Yeah, that was a fun day. thoughts are on this this hydraulic yeah. hmm. maybe if you uh start the lift yeah before we start this one you know right hmm
wonder if we'd be better off just sneaking a chain under that knuckle right there. Yeah, or where that strap's at. It's up this seal just like that too. You want the shovel? Not really. You got that strap wrapped around a... Do you? Yeah. It's the very top of that pivot. Hmm. That's going to be kind of off angle. Probably want to put you here. Well, we can rig it up and see what it's going to do. What do you think about it? Worst case, all we'll have to do is derig and throw a chain around that cylinder and up around that uh, mm -hmm. trough line, you know? Yep. Okay. That's why it would have been perfect to set a truck here, but there's just no way, you know? No. No. Down on us. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's nasty. We're concerned about the hydraulic line and how it's going to react with that. Oh. <laughs> to be honest, if you put a chain to that cylinder, it's going to do the same thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unless, unless we can get it. Do you have any, uh, like, straps and, like, with a fire hose or something over it? We could possibly sneak a strap under the line. Wait, where's the hydraulic line that's concerned about? Oh. On the very top, that rail. Where that's a hydraulic it? line. I know, but is the club is pushing down on it or something? Well, the it's going to be rotating over the top, you know? Have trapped on them. I'll give it sneak them. Um, I just hate pulling on a strap. Man. I know. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty thin gap. Well, you, um, take the line off now because it's, it's connected right there, and just pull it out of the way. Wait, what? One more time. Line connects right there. No, we're, this line did. We're oh, that line. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. Yeah. Because uh, it kind of rolled. We can do two. Uh, when we get there, let's see what's I can put a block, a block or something to yeah. space oh, it out. I should use the blue line for that one, huh? Uh, which, oh, yeah. That's, uh, I, so I was almost thinking. Yeah. No, I was thinking that's good. Um, and maybe we could anchor the blue line to wherever, you know, makes sense. But then that way your boom is fixed and it. It's not going to be pulling one way or another, you know? Yeah. What's that? that use the, well, the using the main, but then anchoring it to the tailboard so that way it doesn't go left or right anywhere. Considering we don't, we're not set up on a full platform, you know? We got the deck winches too. Yeah, so those yeah. decks, those winch. motherfuckers pull. Yeah. Those are 35 k so we can always run those. Yeah. Help with it a little bit, you know? Yep. Where are you guys going to go to? Uh, so we're going to go on the back um a track so we'll have okay. you on the on the front track the uh, front section of the track we'll have you on the back section of the track and then we'll go up over that counterweight okay boom boom yep and then uh i might as well go to our and trail. we both got we all got our drag winches to work with i think we set it up with the three lines or the we'll four just... lines first and see what it does okay you know, if we have to go more we go more but i set it up if we don't need open over so we get it out of the way right now with the yeah. top of that you think yeah either that or if you want to boom up and out and get it up to whatever you think well i don't uh here let's do this because i someone's got to be on the top side to rig all this anyway so i'll go up there we'll and you guys can you. hand cable to me and then i'll stay up there and you guys can throw rigging to me okay. for the track stuff well are you gonna go yeah. <laughs> i didn't think so is it? Yeah, I think you can climb over the cab. The, oh, oh, over the stick you're saying? Yeah, maybe walk I'll the, stick, walk the stick and then climb up the cab. Back side, you know what I mean? Keep yeah, yeah, going. okay. Give that a shot.
That's fine, yeah. That way we get leverage. Yep. Whew, man. You gonna pull that cable up? Oh, Romeo, you have a copy of Romeo? Yeah. James, you might even want to come on the backside and flip that over the boom, and then I can get this over the track. Okay, pull that up and over? Yeah. Okay. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I just, <laughs> it's heavy on its side. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Dad, can you uh, just help that over right there from your height there? Okay. Yeah. Hang on. All right, we're good. Oh yeah. There you go. That should be good. Something like that. Sure. I'm just gonna hook it in up here for now. Yeah, we'll see what it's gonna do. See what it's gonna do about that hydraulic line too. Okay, hold. Let it out, James. Here, let me fold that mirror down before it comes an issue. Okay. Yeah. Right. What do you want? Oh, Change. you want to hand the cable up and I'll hook it up here? No. No? Give me the slack. <laughs> I don't want to lift that. Well, then I got to lift cable and 20 feet of chain. Huh? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because the, chain, the, the chain could be all the way over here. Yeah, I'll pull it yeah. You just going to throw it up and around, right? Oh, around on the top. Oh, okay, I, I got you. I thought you were saying for me to hand this down to you, you're going to hook it and then hand it back up to me. <laughs> I was like, hell no. You can take a lot of slack out of that. Yeah. That works. Cool. All right. I use mics on. I said I'm never putting those on my shit. They're nice, man. They're nice, but they're so they're by yourself. Yeah, and then a little bit of mud in there, and they're fucked. Oh, uh, spilling your sand in there. It's inevitable. Yeah. All right. We're probably gonna want to put the locks up there so we don't get in the car. I don't think it'll be an issue. That looks good. Yeah. We're gonna get some bite there. Yeah, yeah, get some bite. Okay, probably Clevis another twenty. Huh? Yeah, it's hot. It is hot. What do you think? You want to go to the bottom one? Yeah. Yeah. 
and then we'll try to we'll try to yeah we'll try to sneak that chain behind that back one correct six yeah that guy doesn't have a class a but he's been on so many recoveries he know, he's like one step ahead of me every time really yeah he's that's always good man. oh that's my gosh like that. he's like the best of course, nice, like, you know, yeah little, he's our he's our mechanic yeah know what you he's have. our mechanic but he's been with my grandpa since they started 50 oh, really? something years ago yeah so yep yep oh shit got it all right everybody we got the trucks all rigged up all right, so to recap, we have uh, James, 75 ton, has a high line to the boom. That's gonna give us leverage to get this thing over. We have James with his drag winch to the front of the track. We have myself with my main winch anchored to a snatch block on the tailboard to the ba uh, back of the track. And then we have myself with like, not necessarily a high line, but just a line around the counterweight here to kind of leverage it over. So we're gonna go ahead and put headsets on and see if this thing's gonna pop up. So let's see. Just like back, back that way. I'm gonna kind of stay right here because I can see my truck. And okay. Yeah, I probably don't want to stand there too. We'll just have to watch the tracks, you know. Yeah. All right. Whenever you guys ready. Ready. Um, let me make sure I'm good. Okay. Um, probably should start with that high line on the boom. See what happens. Yeah. I definitely start with some lift. I can do the same on the counter, right? Oh yeah, it's already picking. Is it? Yep. Yep, it's picking already. There she goes. Oh yeah. Let me know if you need me to slow down. Yeah. Okay. We'll get her where she's ready to tip, we'll go down a little slow. Yep. Trucks look good. Alright, <clears throat> looking good. I think this thing is looking really nice. Yeah, looking really good, guys. I think we're gonna kind of walk it, pull it all the way down. Huh? I said I think we're gonna have to pull it all the way down. Looks good. Hey, come on, a little bit. Here it comes. It's about to. I love deck winches. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'd... I'll give it a little tug on the... Yeah, I'm gonna give it a little tug on the high side if you want to do the same. I'll let you catch up. Look at that arm. That's massive, isn't it? Yeah. You wouldn't even know that's under there. I'm so glad I don't have to be in that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah that's just... Now it's gonna suck. <laughs> Getting the top. <laughs> yeah, we can think about that one. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you know, getting, getting that off? Yeah. That's a young, young, young bucket. I don't know how you can get that. <laughs> it's gonna suck. Might have to, uh, you know what we could, uh, well, we can improvise. It's happening. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Chain slid off the. I can keep yanking on it. Yeah, hard I can actually, that'd probably actually help. I can. Pull that low side up. Oh, there you go. Did you? If we can get it up, do you guys want to put dirt? Yeah. Okay, so we want to counter roll. Is that the thought? Yeah. Let's see if we can. Uh, okay. Okay, um, just uh, here, what this chain on mine is gonna probably pop up. So just yeah, you're uh, wing or ro roll on you probably. Mm -hmm. So you know, we'll try to loosen it, see if it holds, see if I have enough of it. Uh, yeah, let's do that. See if I have enough of it or not. <laughs> That's a swing brake letting go on Yeah. There we go. Okay. Maybe. I wonder if I can just out, flop that up. I thought I heard cables like making the ring, the ding. Hmm. Anyway, let me uh. Maybe boom up. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cable out on the low line and boom up. Walking on it. Yeah, settling. Hmm. 
Yeah, you don't want to swing the wood because that's just going to yeah. put it off balance again. <laughs> Might do what you want it to do, though. I think, I think we'll just, I think we'll just, I mean, it, it's, it's going to pop up. up. What do you want to do? I'm just saying, I think we should just continue with what we're doing, but just note that this white's probably going to pop up. There it goes, it's about to, hang on. Uh, let me just cable up with that, it should hit the top. And I got it on the bottom. Um, James, you want to cable in on yours? Let's see if I can get the pop. Okay, hold. Hmm. There it goes. Alright, now I got control of it. I thought that was the... Okay, that's the excavator. I was like, holy shit, ghost machine! <laughs> Don't go too far. Okay, that's good. I think that's good enough. Yeah. Alright, well that went really smoothly. I don't think it's considered. Yeah, that was good. Uh, I, uh, I was like, it's so warm. It's I mean, we were hoping for an outcome like this, but we came prepared for like, yeah, it's like 5 o'clock at night. I don't know. I need some hopes. Something like this. Yeah. I guess it's the fun part about towing. You know, it likes to eat something like this if you can have this every day. Yeah. Like, we want some beef like yeah. Well, I gotta be honest, guys. I really thought that was gonna pan out to be more of a job than it was, but I think the camera was rolling for like eight minutes for the upright, so I guess, yeah, it is what it is. I was just expecting it to be a big job. I kind of made it out to be one. I mean, don't get me wrong, it still is a big job, but that was pretty cool. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling for a few bits, breaking down and whatnot. Um, looks like our next problem is we gotta figure out how to get that up there, and we're kind of worried about starting this thing. It's been outside for two days. Oil is probably all at the top of the cylinder, so I'm trying to make a decision here on either finding some way to get up there safely or start it up and get the boom down. Um, right now we have the machine counter leaned toward us so they can shove material under there and support it so it doesn't go up on its side again. And that's where we're at, so um, yeah. These come out of the truck or the, the trailer, Dad? Okay. Oh, man. Oh, shit. I'm gonna leave those hooked up and just winch them out.
right, everybody. Well, like I said, that was kind of a, a job that we really thought was going to be a big deal, but it ended up not being. Um, so with that being said, hope you guys did enjoy the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it, and we will see you on the next one. And also a special thanks to Statewide. Thank you. Thank you.